Hey Minecrafters, welcome back to the channel, or to the channel if you're new here, and to episode 10 in my Better Minecraft mod pack series. So I just wanted to give another huge thank you to everyone who has subbed to the channel and liked the videos and also left some comments because it's really helped the channel grow quicker than I could have possibly imagined and I am super excited for the future and all of the great content that I'm hopefully <laughs> great content that you guys are going to enjoy. Um, but yeah, it's just it's been a really great ride so far and I couldn't be more grateful. So thank you. And yeah, we've got lots of stuff to do today. A little list here like I always do. Hopefully we can get through all of it. But yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever it is that you get for while you watch videos. And let's get on with the fun. Hi, it's me. Sorry, just wanted to add a little bit of information in here before the video starts. Uh, this, is, this is being recorded after the video was, <laughs> this episode was recorded. So it's gonna be a, seem a little out of place. I just wanted to add it here though. Um, there's a few things. So the first thing is I wanted to show you how to turn on emissivores because a few people had asked me in previous videos or in previous videos comments how to do it. So I'll show you really quickly. So you go into options, video settings, shader packs, shader pack settings, make sure your integrated PBR is turned on here. Compatibility mode is turned off. Go into materials, integrated PBR settings, emissive ores, and you can turn them all on in here. And on the previous page, you can also turn on emissive nether stems, so like crimson, warped wood and stuff. So yeah, that's how you do that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And the uh, other two things, just really quickly. The first thing I wanted to point out is my backpacks um, are a little bit bigger than yours because you can actually go into the config file and change the size of the backpacks themselves, which is perfect because they were a little too small for me. So... That's why I did that. And the last thing is in this video, you'll um, see at the beginning that I had built kind of like an area around the uh, wither skeleton spawner and the spawner actually wasn't producing the proper drops. So I kind of tinkered with a few things, ended up removing the spawner egg mod, which I'm not saying is the cause of it, but one of the things that I changed and did fix things. So now there are skeletons, uh, wither skeleton skulls dropping finally. So I'm really excited about that because you will hear me be a little bit of not upset, but just disappointed that it wasn't happening. So yeah, it has been fixed. So I just wanted to do these updates for you and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alrighty. So first things first that we're going to do is definitely go finish that mansion because <laughs> I had to end a little quickly last time. I didn't realize how long I was recording for and I didn't want to give Mr. Editor like a four or five, you know, four or five hour long recording to sift through. So we're going to go finish that up and kind of discover what's all inside there because it was a really cool looking mansion. So um, we're going to go do that. And I did make a platform over where the wither um spawner is now i'm a little concerned that for some reason like those temples are like programmed to not drop loot from the spawners which is weird because even the blazes and stuff weren't dropping anything so it's very possible because it would be really easy to farm those spawners so we may have to go and get skulls the normal way so i can make a uh, another star so i can make my own wither spawner which i do know works because you know, <laughs> i've done it in another world so uh, we could do that as well. There's a couple other things I want to do. I want to go into the Twilight Forest and kind of just look around a little bit because that's going to be an episode all on its own. It's such an expansive mod that um, it'll definitely have to be something we do for a full episode. S specifically, I can't talk today. Specifically, <laughs> because I know you have to do like the bosses in order if that's still the way it is. So I'll have to look into that and figure that out as well. But yeah, there's a few things that I have planned and I'm uh, actually really excited to just chill and play and eventually I am going to decorate this storage area and I was debating if I wanted to actually put Tom's storage mod in because I do know it gets a little bit laggy. As cool as the, the, the concept is, it does get quite laggy with more than a few, like more than like a wall of chests. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but... I don't know if I want, I, I might do some testing to see if that's still the case because we don't have any like super fancy storage mods and I don't mind manually sorting things and I kind of like how it looks. So I'll have to figure that out between episodes. I still haven't really had time to think about that, but for now we'll just have this little flower storage area. I'll decorate a little bit more because the stone is kind of boring, but yeah, that's kind of the rundown of what I want to do so far. And hello, Mr. Goblin who shows up literally every time I start recording an episode. Let's see what you got. Fortune four. Do I have fortune four on any of these? All right, let's see. Do we have any diamonds? Ooh, I have just enough to make a pick, actually. Hold on. Um, I'm just going to grab you really quickly. I'm going to make that pickaxe because I want that fortune. So I'll do this. 
And then we will do this. And I have to go... Do I have a fortune book? Do I have a fortune book? Yes. I have two fortune books. Okay, so you. And we'll do this. And we'll do that. And now I can't combine that, unfortunately, because... We have another right pick. So... Let's see how much it's going to cost to yoink that off. Oh, wait. Why can't I put Fortune 4 on that? Oh, oh. <laughs> because that's not an anvil. <laughs> you can tell. You can tell. You can tell my brain is just not working today. Like, <laughs> what's wrong with me? There we go. All right, so our main pickaxe now has Fortune 4 and Breaking 4, so that's actually awesome. I'm super excited about that. Yay! All right, let's see if actually we can repair some of our gear with you. Do we have... Let's see. Mm, we don't have a lot of emeralds, but... Let's make sure that's out of the hand. Uh, do you have mending on you? No, because you have infinity. I really wish you could add mending uh, with infinity. That'd be nice. All right, um... Do we need more ender pearls? Probably. Let's grab those. How's our gear looking? Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Put that there. Put that there. Okay, so what was the first thing I wanted to do? I actually want to go and show you guys the wither platform that I made. I kind of want to see if, if I'm correct in my assumption. So yeah, if you guys remember, this was the temple. <laughs> There's the temple there. I literally knocked down all the walls. Made a... An, ouch. Made a nice little area around the spawner. So we're going to see if they actually drop some skulls. And if they don't, then I'm just going to give up on this whole concept here and just do it the normal way. I can see why the mod author would do it because, I mean, it's... Look at all the spawners that were in there, you know? It, it would be way too easy to, to farm with our skulls that way. So it's very possible that that's what happened, but... Who knows? We'll see. Because normally they drop, like, uh, those bones as well when it's just normal. Yeah, like, I don't think that they're going to be dropping it. So let's see. Hold on. Let's go to the fortress real quick. Because I know there's some over here. Over on this side. So... Oh gosh, I don't even remember how to get over there. Hold on. Um, what's down here? What did I... I left myself a little path of lights. What's over here? There are wither boys? No, there's not. Although it seems like they're close. So where are you up? Oh, I hear you. Oh, hello. Are you gonna drop me some skulls? Okay, see, all right. So now you guys can see, I've just killed two of them and look, they're dropping all this stuff. So it makes me think that the spawner in that temple is programmed to not drop really anything. Okay, okay, all right, good. So I wasn't going crazy, all right. <laughs> All right, it looks like we're gonna have to do this the, the basic way, but that's fine, whatever, it's all good. Um, let's go see if these guys up here will drop anything. Can I get up to you somehow? Where are you? Let's see. Seems like you're over here, since we're all encased in Blackstone. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Wait. Are you up? Let's see. Mr. Skellington, are you below or are you above? I'm just trying to see if they'll, oh. Above? Up. Yes, up. Hello. Oh, don't hit the pig. Ooh. Still no skull, but at least I know that, um, 
that this is a way to do it. Oh, hello. What's in here? Nothing of use. Let's go over to... Make sure I have everything. Got some burgers. Um, yeah, we'll go over there. So I believe... Actually, let's go home first because I think it's nighttime. So we're going to want to sleep. Don't you guys go away when I teleport? I'm confused. Guess not. All right, let's head over to the mansion. Um, I should have it marked. Yes. Oh, oh, golden apples. That's what. There we go. I was like, I know I'm forgetting something. I swear I'm forgetting something. And since the update, there's like these cool little gusts. I don't know what mod adds those. Like the little winds. Markings? I guess gusts is really the only way I could- I should probably put this at the front, too. Really the only way I can describe them. I should put this by the front of the mansion, though, which I continually forget the location of. I think it's over here. I think, I think, maybe? Yeah, those! It's all, like, cool, floaty gusts of sparkles! <laughs> Okay, here's the entrance here. Okay. Hi! <laughs> Alright. There we go. So this only lasts for like a minute three. Okay, alright. So let's go in. This is what I was looking for before. Where are you at? I know one of those summoner dudes are around here somewhere. Oops. Yes! You. Now there's gonna be another one, so let's try to find him before he spawns a million of those guys on me. Uh, it's a balcony. Uh, it's a balcony. Hi! Hello. <laughs> My aim today is probably not going to be any better than it was. Well, there's more. Okay, so there has to be another guy. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he at? Oh, yep. I knew there was another one. Ouch. Where? Where is he? Oh, come on. Are you downstairs? Wait. I can't even see him on the mini map. Oh, this is going to be the worst. He has to be upstairs. Yeah, because... Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. Oh, there's more stairs. Aha! Hello. And there's another one. Which I guess makes sense. Where are you at, buddy? Ooh, this room looks... not safe. Okay, so it says there's one here, but he's not here. So is he down below me? Where are you at? Wait, I heard him. Arr. Hmm. IR confusion. I'm not going. Oh, is there another way up? Is this going to be one of those where it's like there's a way up, but I don't know how to get up there? Yeah, because I see a hole upstairs up there. Where is your summoner? Yeah, see, I can hear him. 
I could hear you. Where are you? I heard you summoning your little dudes. I hear him. What? There's no way you're summoning them from all the way down here. No. Because I heard you upstairs. Oh, this is going to drive me bonkers. I'm super confused. Where are you? Hello? Oh, there is more up there. Okay, how does one get up there without getting smacked off a block? Oh, you... Oh, yay. Okay, he has to be up there. Oh, 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 oh. That's a vindicator. So there's a vindicator up there. If there's a vindicator up there, there has to be one of those guys up there. And I don't think I'm going to be able to block up there without getting smacked off by these guys. Oh, you little... This is going to be a pain in the butt. Damn it. I'm going to have to... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going up. I don't even care. I've searched for stairs this whole time. I don't even care. I'm doing it this way. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Let me at him. You're hurting my beautiful gear. My beautiful gear. Uh oh. Oop, that was a double click. Okay, so I'm slightly confused. My poor gear is just, yeah, no. I guess this is going to be one of those things where I have to go back and repair my gear because, oof, where is he? That one guy is spawning all those little vexes and I have no clue where he is. Making me wish I had thorns on my gear. You guys are evil little dudes. And I'm gonna keep killing him, but then if I can't find where that guy is, I'm just gonna keep getting more. Yeah, like, look at this. This is ridiculous. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna go sleep. We're gonna go repair the gear. And try again. Where's my magnet? Ow! I'll do one little flyby here. To try to see where this guy is. Ouch. See, I can hear him! I hear you. So you're up there. Oh, yeah, you're up there. Okay. I tried doing this the normal way. Yeah, okay. I have had enough of you. I have had enough of you. Goodness gracious. My poor gear, ouch. Gotta get away from these little, little evils. Let me out. Oh, apparently the block was like, nope. I think I got the last one, hopefully. Are they gonna follow me all the way out here? Hey, you better not. <laughs> My poor gear. Mm -mm. Uh oh. 
I spoke too soon. All right, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna repair my gear. As you saw, I tried to do it the normal way and I tried to do it the normal way in the last one, but there was just absolutely no way to get to that guy. We're just gonna quickly go home. Oh wait, why am I doing this? I have a wormhole. Total brain fart. We're just gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. I'm gonna trade with some villagers, trade some sticks and stuff. So I'm gonna empty my bags real quick first. Oh, there's drippy sounds now. Wait, interesting. Okay, guess something else was added. Uh, I'm gonna empty my bags and whatnot, and then I will bring you back when I go over to trade with the villagers. Oh, the vinery traveling merchants here. Oh, the one I got so excited about. <laughs> I had dirt slabs and I haven't even done any building yet. I swear I will do some building, I promise. I'm more of like an adventuring player than a building player, but yeah, we'll definitely have to figure out something to build for sure. Um, so now I am going to grab some planks and some sticks if I can remember where my all my boxes are. Like my brain is just on overload today. So, wow, that gave me so many sticks. Love it. Thanks. That, that. Just want to repair my gear. Oh gosh, lots of logs. Perfect. Boy fix. I guess you can hang out here for a while, sir. I have uh, some other things to attend to for now. Enjoy your stay. Here we go. Let's go over here and get some stuff repaired. All right, I think that's the best that we're going to get for now. I'm hoping I got all of the, the guys that are doing the summoning. I forget their names, but we'll go back and check and see. I'm going to do a little bit of an explore and see what's in that house. I'm pretty sure it's just like normal uh, Woodlands Mansion loots, but we'll go take a look. I don't really need any loot that's in here anyways. Yeah, it's all just basic stuff. Lots of uh, totems though, that's good. All right, well, at least we got that down. Oh, <laughs> she falls through the hole she made. Flips, ooh, I do wanna grab these though. Some of these little Banners are kind of cool looking. Little Moo Moo. Green slime. Ooh, hidden treasure. A biome. Ooh, what's this? Cladded leggings. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, that was that. Was that. <laughs> I'm so lost. This place is just insanely oh my gosh <laughs> the, the hallways the hallways are wild okay um so what was the last thing okay so we, we checked the wither thing i need to farm some wither skulls i'm not going to bore you guys with that we did the mansion um i think the next thing i'm going to do is make that twilight portal because i kind of want to peek my head in there and see where it takes us i haven't played the twilight forest mod in so 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 long 
I think the last time I played it, I was playing Skyblock, or was it Skyblock? Sky Factory? I think it was Sky Factory. Long time ago. Long, long time ago. And, um... Oh gosh, yeah. I didn't like that very much. Um, so... It's been a while. It has been a while. For sure. But if I remember correctly... We need a circle of dirt in a second, and a diamond, and some water, and some flowers. Well, a circle. A Minecraft circle, a square. <laughs> um, is it 4 by 4 or 5 by 5 I'll have to try both, I guess. This. And I'll deal with that after. Grab some flowers. Those. Grab some of those. Um, I got the bucket of water, we need a diamond. So if anyone who hasn't played this mod before, the portal is really cool. Oh my goodness. I got a new mouse and I'm still adjusting. <laughs> so I apologize. Um, I can't remember if I have to build it out of the ground. Let me sleep real quick. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's go up here where the other portal is and take a look. Again, I'm not sure if it's four or five blocks, but we can try it out. I'm gonna do it around all these pretty flowers because you can tell a cow's been over here. Um, do I want to put that there? There. There. And I'm not sure if modded flowers work, so we're just gonna that and then we'll do some of these orange tulips not really symmetrical but that's okay i think i may need another bucket <laughs> whoops hold on detour Probably have filled up both buckets. Now I'm not sure if this is too big, so hopefully it's not. But easy fix. Alright, gotta turn off my magnets. My bag is a mess, I know. Ooh, okay, I was right! <laughs> Alright, so yeah that's that's how you do it um one two three four so yeah five by five put some water in the middle obviously fill it up it'll take a couple of buckets and then you surround it with flowers i, I again i don't know if modded flowers work but vanilla ones if you don't want to have to redo everything and yeah um toss a diamond in it afterwards make sure you turn off your magnet if you're using the magnet one the magnet what the magnet mod that i have on I'm just gonna go empty my bags and then we will go in there and take a look. I don't know how much exploring I'm gonna do in there. Like I said, that's gonna be an entire episode in itself, but we'll do a little exploring and stick our noses in. Uh, sir, your, your, uh, sir, your, your donkey is, um, break your lead how do i break your lead oh 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 you your donkey oh my pay attention oh my gosh i'm so sorry mr donkey can you tame donkeys how do you tame them do you tame them the same way you tame horses yes i think so let's let, let's make these donkeys ours Donkey friends! Okay, that's one. Where's the other one? Donkey friends? Hello? Arts? Arts? Yay! 
Hey, okay. So you guys can kind of just chill. Um, actually, I don't want you to wander off too far. So we got two new friends I wasn't expecting. So just gonna do that and that. You're just gonna hang out over here with Mr. Mushy. I'm sorry that you had to see that, but you're you were gonna suffocate in the wall if I didn't do it. All right. So let's go into the Twilight Forest. Now, as I said, I'm pretty sure that um, the shaders are a little wonky. I'm gonna try to turn on compatibility mode in the Twilight Forest only, to see if that helps with the, the glitch that I've noticed in the, whatchamacallit, the skyline. Ooh, we got a quest. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, you can see it. It's like a, yeah. All right, um, let's try compatibility mode and see if that helps. Not really. All right. And I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't want to play without shaders on because it adds um, good lighting for the handheld lights. So. You guys are just gonna have to deal with that that white line in the distance for now until I can figure out what causes that. But I wonder if waystones stones work. Do they work here? They do. Okay, so um I mean I have a wormhole, so it doesn't really matter, but we're just gonna do that just in case. Actually, I should click it too, because for whatever reason the name doesn't register. So where are we right now? Now, can you sleep in this dimension? I like, it's been so long and I don't even know what this is. Like it's, oh gosh, it's been such a long time. Um, ooh, there is a big tower over there. Now this is definitely gonna have to be a whole episode in itself. What's this? Canopy tree. Pretty. Oh, birds. Oh. <laughs> That sound is adorable. Little shuffle sounds. Aww. All right. Let's take a look around here for now. Trying to see where we've spawned in. I see those little, those like, I don't even know what those are. I'm, oh my gosh, I want to sleep. But again, just like in Paradise Lost, I'm nervous. I don't want to die. The, the end and the nether have like conditioned me to think that sleeping in dimension is bad. <laughs> All right. What's over here? Is that a, whoa, that is a lot of spiders. Does that mean that this is like one of those little like troll? Wait a second. Okay. So when I played this in um, Sky Factory, it was kind of like the Twilight Forest was kind of like, you know, the same thing. It was floating islands and whatnot and there was like this thing like this but i remember there being little goblins inside and a bunch of loot but now because this isn't sky factory it's an actual like you know there's ground and stuff i wonder if that's the same thing and i'm a little curious i want to peek my head in just to see we don't really need the resources that are in there because again we have as many you know blocks of golden iron that we could possibly imagine an eden ring but I kind of want to, I want to, I want to peek my head in. Just want to have a little peek see. No, do I have my arrows? I do. Boots. Gosh, this just, it's so weird seeing it like, um, not being a giant floating, you know, just flat, <laughs> words. <laughs> it's weird seeing it not being like a giant floating islands. Cause that's the only way I played Twilight Forest. Okay, so let's see. I don't want to like vein mine because I don't want to just end up in the middle of a pit. Since my gear is still not quite repaired yet. Okay, so yeah, you can kind of see on the map, it's like a little circular structure. Let's see. What? Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. This is exactly what I remember it being. 
Yeah, these hills have so much ore in them. And glowstone. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. I guess it makes sense because they're, I guess, goblins or something. So they got all kinds of good loots. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I need to not fill up my bags with ore. Which is exactly what's going to happen. And I do know in the Twilight Forest... What is that table that we saw? It was um, like the un, un, this one, uncrafting table, that's it. So I need to find a maze map focus, but I don't know where to get that. Cause then you could just like uncraft things and get the stuff back from them. Oh, hello, what's down here? Oh yeah, yeah, it's exactly what I remember it being. Wow. It's crazy to see it in like its actual full glory, basically, and not just a floating random island. All right. Um. Do I want to just? Yep. Oh, there's a spawner. Oh gosh, this might have been a mistake. What? Is this a bunch of vanilla mods, really? Oh no! Poison spider! Poison spider! Oh, oh, get Sheebus. Oh, hi, Cobalt. Wait, are you hitting me or is it the poison? No, you aren't the bad guys. You're the bad guys. Uh oh, I didn't mean to hit you, Cobalt. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, there is a spawner around here that needs to disappear. I hate those poison spiders. Look at how cool that looks though. Especially with like the abyss of ores on. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it. Let me grab my uh golden apples real quick. I could just cheese it and plunk down a magnum torch in here, but I don't want to do that. I wanna explore a little bit. I really want to know where to get those. Oh, <gasps> I know it's evil, but look at it. Look at it. It's a little purple baby spider. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you do. Oh, you, you do hit. Okay. 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 Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Gosh, this looks. What is that noise? <laughs> oh, I was scared. I'm sorry. Your friend hit me first. Oh. What's this? Charm of life. In the what slot? Where do I put it? Necklace? Oh. Okay. I still don't know what that does, but I put it in anyways. We had a cute little heart in our necklace slot. <laughs> that noise. Well, this is so cool. Thanks for the help. Interesting. Very cute. Okay, there has to be another spawner over here, though. Oh, oh, boom, booms! Oh. Thanks, creepers. What are you? Whoa! You're shooting blobs at me. What? I wanted to like look at it and see what that was, but it was just shooting things at me. <laughs> Like some creepy ant. Oh, hello. More of you. Oh, a spawner. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I 
have not heard that noise in so long. Oh my gosh, I forgot. And it honestly, it cracked me up just as much back then as it did today. Oh, there's a magnet. Or magnet. Okay, so that's not a magnet for everything, just ore. All right. It's, the only thing is it's so hard to get lost, or so hard, so easy to get lost in here. I don't know where I've been. I guess I just keep marking with torches. It says there's more over here. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Me too. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. I love it so much. Why do you guys gotta be mean? You're adorable. Wait, I hear another one. So they're showing up on the map as like little red caps or whatever that is. Ha ha ha. Where are you? Hello? Ah, you were stuck in the stone. You're welcome. Goodbye. Okay, so up here maybe? I love how I was like, I'm just gonna peek my head in. Now I'm just like, give me all the loot! Oh! <laughs> that was dirty. <laughs> oh my gosh. I swear creepers me and creepers in this game it's I'm like a magnet I swear and you figured I would pay attention and like hear the pitter patter of their little tootsies on the ground but nope too busy laughing about the goblins or whatever they are oh my god it scared me <laughs> what a bugger okay um I see more spiders and stuff. Now, is there, I don't think there's another floor. Question mark? No, I think they're over here. Yep. Oh, that scared me. I didn't think you were that close. I'll just take that real quick. Oh, I s- oh, gush- gush- gosh, <laughs> words. Words are hard today. I saw the creeper. Get out of here. Oh, I was swinging at this booter! Oh, are you crying? Oh, it's kind of sad. The cutest, saddest friends died. I mean, I wouldn't hurt you if you didn't attack me first, you know. I hear- oh gosh, I keep falling down these little holes. I just saw something over here. You. Man, this is so cool looking. It just, it wouldn't have the same, like, pop to me without the emissive ores, you know? There's nothing wrong with playing without them, of course. Like, some people prefer mod compa compatibility on and stuff, which is totally cool. That's definitely, um, a preference, but I love how this looks. Love it, love it, love it. I think this is just a normal hallway over here. I kind of want to... These look neat. Collecting all these things and thinking about all the things I want to build and then like I never end up building. I just explore Different kinds of Minecraft players. I am the explorer and loot goblin. <laughs> I don't mind building. I've built quite a few different things in the past, but I just feel like when I record I want to explore and adventure and you know Plus, I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to work the like time-lapse program. I forget what it's called, but 
It just is not working for me. Maybe I'll figure it out one day. Here, there you are. I'll never get sick of that sound. <laughs> where are you? Are you inside the st- Yep, that's exactly where you are. <laughs> I'm not gonna get sick of that. So anytime I see any of those guys in the mini map, I'm coming into one of these. So yeah, this is also if you guys unlock the Twilight Forest before you go to Eden Ring. Um, because this is obviously going to be a lot easier to get to without uh, Elytra. Definitely come in here and grab all kinds of ore because this seems to be a lot easier to um to get around in than Eden Ring. If you don't have any Elytra. And some people don't want to do that end grind right away, you know? They want to explore the other dimensions, which totally understand that 100%. So definitely come in here and grab yourself all kinds of goodies. It's pretty easy to see on the mini-map too, so look for a mound of blue, blue little dudes. I think that's it. It says there's more in the middle, but like, like in here. Oh, did you just spawn? Aha! Sneaky! Vein miner for the win. Unless there's another one of those guys. You over here, buddy? Aha! Found you! Just spawning in the stone. I can't be comfortable. All right. So that was... Oh, I hear another one. Where are you at, bud? Wait, they're still spawning. I swore I lit it up all right over there. Maybe not. Oh, okay. So the little blue guys just keep spawning. So I think this, this is just like an area that they spawn in. <clears throat> Which is fine. They don't really do any damage. But I'm wondering if there's like a spawner. Now I'm gonna vein mine like crazy to try to find this thing. I'm spawning up there. Oops. Where are you guys? Like it's showing them here. But that's above ground. Ouch. Are you below me? No? Maybe? No? What in the world? When I go down, they disappear. When I go up, they're here. But like, are they above? They must be. They must be up here. Whoa. Oh yeah, they're definitely up there. Aha! Hello, friends! Oh, their little growl! Oh, so they get upset when their friends get- Oh, I'm sorry, but you attacked me first. Oh, oh, he's not crying. He's like sweating. He'll be back. Yep. Oh, my bags are full. Oh dear. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to put a waystone here. Actually, wait, hold on. Where is the waystone? I think it's there, right? OK, so yeah, whatever. We'll just put this one here and mark for some more quick ores.
I want to do a little more exploring around here. I'm all like super curious about everything now. <laughs> I love it. Alrighty, bags are all emptied. We're all good to go. I had a snack. I'm really curious about what this is, but I'm a little nervous too because that looks pretty hectic. So we're going to adventure over there and kind of see what that is. I don't, does it ever become daytime here? I wonder. Possibly not, but I didn't really know the whole lore. Wow, Thorn Rose. So I'm guessing it's like a castle because it's surrounded by thorns. So that's definitely something I've never seen. Yep, that, yep, that hurts. Um, hold on, let me grab some more torches here. I replaced my uh, totem with the totem of undying. Uh, words, totem of undying. Oh, can I? I have wings. Why am I sitting here struggling? Oh, oh, yeah. Nope, don't like that. Nope, don't like that. Nope, 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 don't like that. Okay, okay, so this... If I remember correctly, there are some things in the Twilight Forest where you have to kill certain bosses to get the protection to go into the areas of the other bosses, if I'm remembering correctly. That seemed like what that was. It didn't do a ton of damage, but <clears throat> it would have whittled away at my gear for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put a pin in that. I can't remember what boss that was before though. It was like, oh, I can't remember. It's driving me bonkers. So which way are we gonna go? That's all water there. I guess we can kind of go this way. Ooh, where are you guys? Yeah. We'll do a little more exploring. Oh, hello, there we go. Oh, wait. Can I just not leave this area at all? Oh, okay, I can go over here. What's this? So yeah, we can do a little more exploring here and then I want to go back over to, what did I say I wanted to do again? Oh my gosh, my brain. Um, I guess get some wither skeleton skulls if we can and, and go from there. Oh, there's a spawner over here, hello. You're a druid. Interesting. There's nothing there. Ooh, those look cool. <gasps> Those iron ladders look so cool. Hello, Mr. Druid person. Anything in your, oh, okay, there's stuff in these ones. What's this? Firefly jar. Ooh, fancy way of lighting, love it. I'm confused because like we flew, so I guess that's just considered too close to that. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Guess we'll keep going south a little bit then. Oh, I can get down the ladder. Hello. Ladder. Thank you. So I guess I really am going to have to look into it to see which boss has to go first. Oh, that's so annoying. What's this? Are these special trees? Twilight oak log. Okay, we'll grab some of you. Is there like a maze in one of these somewhere that we have to do? This mod may have been completely changed since I played it last, so I could just be confused this entire time, but... Oh, those fireflies are so pretty. Love it, love it, love it. So yeah, I may have to put a pin in this until I can kind of do a little bit of looking into what I have to do, because I'm just going to end up bouncing around and getting hit by invisible barriers and stuff. What's over here? just looks like normal Minecraft stuff. I mean, it could be not, and I could just be speaking out of my butt, but you know. 
Yes. Oh, it's man. Oh, so it is mangrove, but it's just. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. That biome completely drains your hunger. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to be doing some, some research into this mod because. Oof. So this is the only biome I can I'm safe in right now. Interesting. Okay, well, yeah, uh, we will put a pin in that. All right, cool, cool. Let's go home. I'm gonna empty what I got, and I will be right back. Actually, what I wanna do um, after I get the stuff to make the wither skeleton spawner is I want to be able to make some of these withered backpacks because the next one is the endless backpack and we already have the dragon heads and we already have the end stone. So, okay, I'd like to get some, some of those nether stars because I really want some bigger backpacks. <laughs> this one is driving me absolutely insane. So, where should we start? I guess we can go to the nether fortress again. And then go, <clears throat> where haven't we gone yet? Oh, so many fortresses. Holy cow. I don't know which ones we've been to and which ones we haven't. So let's just go north. Oh, there's actually skeletons here. Hello, sirs. Hello, hello. Ouch. This seems to be a good place for them to spawn too. Very nice, but I don't feel like sitting around and waiting for them to spawn, so we're gonna go on an adventure and uh, chase them down. Why, hello? Oh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, so I see a whole bunch of them, so I'm assuming they're down here. Oh, yeah. You are a stinky. Bye bye. Are you guys down below? Have I gotten any skulls yet? No, of course not. Ooh, nice and chance though. Where are you good sirs? Hello. Oh, little baby, please! Oh my god, it's so quick! Oh, why are you so evil? I just wanted to say hi, you're so cute. All right, I saw another chest, but my my brain did not compute to pick it up. I actually kind of don't want to light this up though, because if they're going to keep spawning in here, this just might make our job a little bit easier. Uh, let me take that. And you know what? Oops, I will just deal with all of this stuff later. Not gonna waste recording time goobering with that. Um, okay, so it's showing them over here? Yep. Hello. Ooh. They're hiding right behind him. Okay, so at least I know that they're gonna eventually drop a skull, hopefully. Unless I, during one of the updates, one of the mods added a way to make it even harder to get skulls, which would be ridiculous considering it's already a pain in the butt to get them in the first place. Oh my gosh, this is a great place for wither skeletons. Holy cow, there's so many of them. I'm really glad I put a... Uh, I put a um, waystone here. Like really glad. Oh, can you? Oh my gosh. Clicky clicky, please. Oh, you're up there. Hi, come on down. I made you a little bridge. Thank you. Still no skulls though. What's going on? The game just does not want me to have skulls. Why am I li I'm like, oh, I don't want to light it up. And I light it up anyways. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so there's some over here. I think. Possibly. Are you above? Hello, come on down. 
I have a surprise for you. Hello? 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 Oh! Jerk! Oh, it's a little baby one. Oh, you squirrely little buggers. Oh, the babies are lagging out the other guys. Holy moly. He was like running around. The guy's like, oh, uh, uh, uh. oh, it's right by my waystone. Can I hit you from here? Oh, even the gas are lagging a little bit. Something is not happy. But that is okay. We will figure it out. So, are there any more? Let's see. Because there's one more right there. Hi. Still no skull. What is going on? This is what I mean by like it being a mega grind I just have to do between episodes because like this is going to take... I remember the first world I did um, in the when I did the fabric version of this, or the first time I had I did the fabric version of this, and I had added the egg mod. Um, it took me probably a solid six hours to find. And I'm not even kidding. Six hours to find enough wither skeleton skulls to um, make everything I needed because I need six. I need one for the wither. Actually, no. Sorry, I need six to do two withers to get two different nether stars. So yeah, it just, it's wild how, um, how long it can take. That's why I miss high tier looting because it's probably one of the modded things that I miss the most. Because tier three looting is just awful. Okay, so I see you guys over there. So I could probably go this way more of you wow okay yeah these guys are spawning like crazy i can dig it there's a lot of zombified piglins around which i don't understand why they're not their pictures aren't showing up they're minecraft like vanilla minecraft mobs huh. who knows all right so you guys are here hello Still no skull. Well then. Let me get rid of that. So I'll have to put that on my uh, do between episodes list. We'll, we'll do a little, little more and see if we can find some. Because I don't know if any or some of the people that are watching this have watched the episode where I first came to the nether and I got like two skulls from killing three guys. And I've killed like a bunch since then and have gotten zero but then again in all fairness that temple spawner i don't think gives any of the normal loot that they drop because not, it's not even giving the bones the um withered bones all right so let's go back over here i'm actually going to use my ever so fancy wormhole and go boop I think we have juiced this one of all of the wither skeletons for now. So let's make our way north, I suppose. Do that. Bloop, 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 bloop. Now, am I going to get Goobird flying over here? Because it looks like there's a lot of walls in my way. That was a really big fortress. Holy guacamole. All right, we'll come back. Oh yeah, my game really does not... Oh, slow down. Yeah, it's not even like... Um, generating, what is going on? Hello? Okay, there we go. I guess I'll go this way.
Yeah, it's having a bit of a struggle. What is happening? Oh my god, I can't even land. I'm gonna have to tinker with some settings, I think, because uh, she do be having a little struggle. And it just seems to be when I fly, or anytime I move quickly. <laughs> Um, I wanted to go north, but... Oh, can we get down here? Ouch, 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 ouch. Ooh, blue. Oh, okay, so my, my soul... What is it? Soul speed works on, uh... Warped soul sand. I guess that makes sense. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Those are really pretty. So are those. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of collecting. I love that color. Oh. Okay, so, and there's also blue fire. I guess I missed that in the list I mentioned the other day. Wow, this is zippy as all heck. Holy cow. Those are, do those do anything? Oh, cyan dye, okay. That's interesting. Okay, so those are just used as like normal blocks. Really cool looking though. That blue is beautiful. And I think it would look even more out there outside of a biome of the same color. Okay, where am I right now? Okay, we wanted to go north. I'm getting so distracted. Hey friends. This way. Oh my gosh, it's so zippy. I don't think I've really ever used soul speed before. Oh, that looks really cool though. You know what? I'm just gonna grab a little bit of it over here, you know. Because of my Loot Goblin collection addiction. And then here's Sub Zero Ash Block. Travertine? I think I'd remember all this stuff, you know, because I've played this so many times, but still, everything just... You can't remember everything, you know? So we're just gonna dig through here and, uh, I'll meet you on the other side. we've come out to a little bit of like a hidden fortress but doesn't seem to have a whole ton of stuff around it there is a little bit of like a piglin mini structure area over there that we'll take a look at when i have to remember my focus is the is getting the skulls but you know if you've been watching my videos for a while you know easily i get distracted What's this? Sub-Zero Crystal Block. Budding Sub-Zero Crystals. Interesting. Is there anything cool you can make with those? And I know I probably shouldn't break that if it's going to be anything like the Amethysts. The Sub-Zero Crystal Shards. So you can make lodestones. That's pretty much it. All right. So it's just a cool looking blue block. All right. Um, there are a lot of fortresses. Holy moly. Um, I guess we can go over here. Normally there's bad guys over here, but I don't see any. There's no way that my torch reaches all the way over here. No. So interesting. Okay. Well, uh, we'll grab a couple of these while we're here. Cause I'm gonna need more gold for golden apples because apparently some of those uh little structures have some oh I didn't mean to do that have some pretty beefy guys in it like especially those vexes like they had I don't know if you guys could notice because they were so small but they were flying around with enchanted swords and absolutely walloping my gear 
I remember correctly, there should be some loot somewhere under one of these. Yes, thank you. What we get? Channeling and flame. So stuff I already have on my other stuff. Can I walk over this? No. Is there an enchant that makes it so you can walk over those? I, la no, not lava walker. Lava walker makes it so you s uh, swim quicker in lava. Another cool thing about complimentary shaders too, by the way, for anyone that uses them, um, if you're one of those people that you know likes to make it so you can play around in the lava every now and then, you can actually turn up the visibility under lava. So it makes it um, easier for you to see under uh, underwards, underneath it because it it's definitely quite taxing on the eyes. So another cool setting you can find. Let me see if I can find it for you. Hold on. So it is. Is it under other? Where is it? Yeah, better visibility. <laughs> if I could talk, better visibility under lava. So if you go into your shader pack settings, like I showed you before, you can go into other, and then it's on the top right. That'll make it so, uh, like if you ever fall in there or, you know, anything like that, it will um, make it easier easier for you to see where to get out. Hey, it's one of those days where I am just struggling with every single word I say. <laughs> I swear. Um, I used to have a texture that I would use to make the crimson wood actually look more red, but uh, I haven't used it in a while. I'm starting to think I might do that though, but I do really like how it's kind of like a purpley color as it matches some of their pretty purple modded blocks. And there's a, you know, enough red modded blocks out there. I came over here for the stuff here. Give me that gilded beautifulness. Sandwalker. Allows the user to walk on quicksand. There's... What? <laughs> There's quicksand? We haven't come across quicksand yet, so there must be, again, another modded thing I've not seen yet. Our bags are getting quite full though, so hold on. I'm getting distracted like I said I was going to. So uh, we need to venture on and try to find another fortress because I really, 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 really want to make those bigger backpacks and then get the beacon made afterwards so Let's fly over here is this another fortress okay ouch um is it a big fortress or is it just a little one it just seems to be a little one but that's okay we can still they seem to spawn mostly in the bigger ones, which is bizarre, but uh, that's fine. Still wander around and see where we're going here. Yeah, there's really none of them anywhere. This is gonna take a minute and a half. Oh, those little skulls. They're like these like floating, flying wither skull things. Oh my gosh, they are the worst. And I'm starting to wonder that maybe a mod took over and like made it so you can only get them from them, but that would be kind of silly. Oh, I almost jumped right off of that. Okay, so there's another fortress over here. Tons of nether mushies, which is good. Actually, is this another mushy or is this the jungle? I always mix up the two. Yes, it's another mushies. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna try to go up. I think, I think that's up or is that down? Oh gosh, probably up because there's a bunch of lava down there. Okay, yeah, perfect. More mushies. Okay, so I need to go to the X over there. Oh, I see a weather skeleton. 
Oh, I did lose my, um, when I was losing my, when I was, wow, words, when I lost my waystones, I, um, lost my nether mushies waystones, so we're gonna do is put another one here, because as I've mentioned before, this is probably my favorite wood in the nether, or one of my favorite woods in the nether. So we're gonna find a bigger area. What is that squeaky rocking chair sound? I'm gonna go up here because I think the bigger area is up this way. <laughs> Give me that mycelium. Can I even get up there? I want to get to this real big area over here. Put a waystone over there. Oh, well, I've hit the, um, the fortress. Oh, no, I haven't. This is a spawner. Hello, friends. Okay, I'm going to do a quick little loot of this and then keep going. My bags are completely full again. Oh, no, they're not. My magnet's just missing. What am I? Hello, magnet? Did I put you away by accident? I did. Of course I did. There we go. Now remember, there's also a chance that uh, one of those little guys can spawn for me breaking the gold ore. Which I'm kind of hoping happens, because that'd be kind of cool to experience, assuming that it doesn't like one-shot me, but it'd still be kind of fun to, to experience, you know? And we'll keep going this way. Seems like... Rubies. Not quite where I want to be yet. Um. Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what that is. Boom, boom. Can I get to it from here? Maybe. I guess, you know, because it's a propellant, I probably should have clued in on that. All right. Perfect. Just where I want it to be. I'll put this here. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to go back over here. Oh goodness. Okay, so I see it over here. Where is... Oh, that Fortune 4 is doing a wonderful job with the... With grabbing all those goodies. Where... Did I put my torches back? I... No, my torches. My rockets. Whoa! <laughs> That was zippy. Okay, perfect. Just where I wanted to be. Now, um, I don't see any on the map, so I guess we can just kind of go this way. This would be an absolute nightmare without uh, rockets and stuff. Are those Endermen? They have to be. But I heard like a skeleton noise, so that's weird. Okay, skeletons, ghast. No, don't need any of those. It'd be really swell if I could find some skulls, though. Okay, up we go. Grab 
remember which way we came from. Okay, we'll go this way. I'm pretty sure this is just like a dead end though. And normally like if they don't pop up on the mini map within the first little bit, like it's pretty much a dud. So I guess we'll go north. There's more over here though, but pretty sure that's where we came from. Oh, 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 I see some over there. Yes, 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 yes. Uh oh. Hello. Oh my gosh, if you guys could please just, I just need three, at least three for my backpack, please. Wait. Oh, oh, little baby one. Gib. Where is my food? Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, that's not a rocket. <laughs> I think that's specifically for vanilla though? Or is that for modded as well? Not sure. It'll be both. Well, this is definitely going to have to be something that I do between episodes because this is just taking up literally like 30 minutes. Ooh, I see colored obsidian over there. Nice, nice. Blue and purple. Nice, nice. Oh. Oh. Hey, it's you guys! The guys that I, I, in the first episode, when I tried to pour lava on zombies. <laughs> and you turned into those guys. I know you were in the nether. Fancy. And I wonder if the purple ones are in the end. That'd be kind of cool. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching episode 10. I know it was kind of chaotic and bouncing around everywhere, but uh, I tried to get a lot of stuff done. There are some things that I do need to do between episodes and other things that I definitely need to plan for the next uh, the next episode that we do. But all in all, it was a good time. So give it a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.